This is Valley News Live at 6. An accepted practice in the news media. That's how the Forum newspaper is defending their actions in altering a picture of cheering Bising fans on their front page today. Thank you for joining us tonight. Stephanie is off and Mike is in Frisco. While Forum staff may feel it's accepted, several of the people in this picture are not happy about it. The picture accompanies a commentary piece from opinion columnist and radio show host Mike McFeely. As Valley News Team's Bradford Eric explains, the forum says the picture was altered to better match the story. This is the picture in question. It's Bison fans holding up signs from a previous game. Their signs read, we want Bama, bring on Bama and Bison pride. Only that's not what their signs actually said. One of our viewers first alerted us to this discrepancy. He posted the original underneath the doctored image. The signs read kitten mittens and a picture of Carson Wentz as Jesus. And that viewer was tipped, commenting they made it look like we are those idiots saying bring on Bama. Several hours later, the forum posted a statement on their Facebook page, reading in part, the image used to illustrate today's Mike McFeely column was a photo illustration. The signs from a real photo were modified to illustrate the sentiment of the column. After posting that, people took to the social media platform, angry. Alejandra posted, now there are copies of the Fargo forum with me holding a sign that I didn't hold. Tim commented, so it's okay to associate a sentiment with an individual or group of individuals who didn't consent to that sentiment because you labeled it an, quote, illustration? Tony asked, illustrate the sentiment? Where does the column indicate our sentiment is that we belong with Bama? The picture even confused one of the forum's own employees, at Josh Francis FM, who labels himself as reporting news and sports for at in forum, tweeted out, hashtag NDSU, hashtag Bison fans are a tad overconfident. Bama would eat NDSU for breakfast with its second squad. He then removed that tweet and later responded to another user, tweeting out, at the Bisonville, sure confused me. I don't think the, quote, photo illustration does enough to be disclaimer. I talked with several of the people in the original and altered photographs. They were on their way down to Frisco to cheer on the bison, and they were not too happy about this situation. I also called up the editor of the forum, Matthew Von Panon. He declined to talk with me on camera, but said photo illustrations don't happen often. The forum also says they would never edit a real news photo. Today's apology, despite today's apology, the picture remains online. If you want to read more of the editor's comments, I have them posted with our story online along with information from the National Press Photographers Association and Society of Professional Journalists related to the ethics of media photography. Krista? All right, thank you, Bradford. If you'd like to read the entire statement from the forum, we have that on our website, too, valleynewslive.com. The Fargo Police Department is asking for the public's help in locating a runaway 16-year-old. Skylar Kuhn was last seen yesterday. She was wearing a dark navy blue pea coat dark navy blue or black yoga pants, and black and silver tennis shoes. If you have any information about Kuhn's location, contact police. The wind is only making the winter season feel even colder. This is what it looked like out in West Fargo today, and those temps are only expected to drop. Let's head over to Hutch Johnson for a first look. Hutch? As we've been talking about throughout the past week, that Arctic blog cast showing an Arctic air mass sliding south, and it's on its way tonight. This is the big transition day, and uh, temperatures in the single digits right now in Fargo. By the way, Frisco down there in Texas, well, they're only 52 degrees warmer. More on that in a second. Right now we have wind chills that are down in the teens to 20 below zero. Winds are 15 to 25 miles per hour. And the actual air temperatures will be below zero by just after bedtime tonight. That means dangerous wind chills. We do have a wind chill advisory for many of our northern counties. It does include Fargo and points north overnight. Don't think we'll see much more snow in our uh, early forecast here, but the cold is taking hold. I'll have details on how low we go. We'll look at that bison travel forecast as well if you're... Uh, uh, on your way to Frisco or know someone that is. All right, thank you so much, Ash. You bet. A new lead today in the crash that killed two Moorhead basketball players in June. The State Patrol is searching for a semi that is believed to be involved in the crash that killed Zach and Connor Kualvog south of Fergus Falls. And now these pictures of the semi in question have gotten attention from all across the country. Sergeant Jesse Grabo tells Valley News Live they have received dozens of new leads from people as far away as Texas and even Rhode Island. 
Again, the semi is described as a dark blue late 80s to mid 90s Kenworth with an Aero 9 sleeper. It also is believed to have what may be a KW T680 grill guard or something similar. If you know about this truck or its operator, contact the Minnesota State Patrol. We have uncovered new, strange, and unsettling information regarding a story we first brought you yesterday. George Lyons is a free man today after posting $15,000 cash bail. He was charged with two counts of criminal sexual conduct for allegedly engaging in sexual acts with a juvenile relative in East Grand Forks. Meanwhile, East Grand Forks police say Lyons was also under investigation in Grand Forks County for a similar incident. Assistant State's Attorney Jason McCarthy says he can't comment on ongoing investigations, but George Lyons' brother, Matthew Lyons, was sentenced to life in prison here in 2014 for the continuous sexual abuse of a child. If he's convicted, George Lyons could be sentenced to as much as 30 years in prison for the charges in Polk County. The second of two hockey players accused of making a sex tape with a 15-year-old girl will serve another 15 days in jail. Brandon Smith was sentenced this morning to 45 days in Clay County Jail with 30 days credit for time served, along with 10 years of supervised probation as part of a plea deal. Smith will not have to register as a sex offender as long as he does not violate probation. Smith and Thomas Carey are accused of making the sex video in a Moorhead motel room with a 15-year-old girl. At the time, they were playing for USHL team Lincoln Stars and were in town for a game against the Fargo Force. Carey received a similar sentence on Monday. Frisco, Texas is not all about football. At least it hasn't been for about a dozen Bison alum. Today, they traveled southeast of Frisco to Roulette, Texas, where portions of that community were pummeled by a tornado over the long Christmas holiday. These people cleaned up as much as they could of the front and backyard of a home. They couldn't go inside because the house has been condemned. That house is among many in the neighborhood, and it will take a long time before order is restored. Tonight on Valley News Live 10 at 10, hear from one of the volunteers from North Dakota explain why she got involved. Meanwhile, fans and players are anxious for tomorrow's championship game in Frisco. Valley News Team's Mike Morkin joins us now live with some of the hoopla. Hey, Mike. Krista, the fun is just beginning here at what would be the Dallas Stars hockey practice facility. You'll see that the door is just opened, so you're seeing a lot of yellow shirts that are making their ways down to the seats, trying to get the best spot to, to watch tonight's program. There are also many people that are walking along the concourse and also uh, getting some concessions. Or it's around the supper hour. This is the fourth facility in the last five years that the NDSU Bison faithful have gathered for their pep fest. Last year, while we were over at the Allen Event Center, that's a hockey arena as well. That's being used tonight, so we're back over here, and uh, it's great. It's, it's great, and it's going to be a great show tonight as well. We're expecting a pyrotechnic show, a laser light show, and, of course, we've got the Gold Star Marching Band, a band of about 150. They'll be performing, and we're also told that uh, former Bison players and now National Football League players Craig Dahl and Kyle Emanuel will also be here to fire up the crowd. There's a lot to do for the uh, older Bison uh, fans and also the younger Bison fans. What do you think of that, Krista? And what do you think about that, folks, back in the Red River Valley? You can let me know if I've taken this bison thing maybe a little too far we'll have coverage of the pep fest for you tonight on valley news live at 10 for now live in frisco i'm mike morkin <laughs> mike i don't think you took it far enough i think you could do maybe a little bit more maybe some face paint <laughs> yeah we won't ask about piercing so let's talk about the forecast so if you know someone that's traveling down there or still on the road here's that uh petro Surf usa road to frisco forecast as we take a gander at what is going on between here and there first of all the cold air is moving in here but it's all the way to the south in texas notice portions of the panhandle of oklahoma and texas tonight will have a chance for flakes and look how close the blue is to frisco there morning flakes mixing in possible mainly north of town it'll be brief mainly a few sprinkles as temperatures will be in the low 40s for most of the game with a northwest wind Beautiful football weather. Now, as you're heading home, if it's Sunday, it looks like clear sailing for the travel back to Fargo. Just be prepared for some sub-zero air when you arrive back home.
grab those extra layers because you'll need them for the drive even, I think. Absolutely. <laughs> Thank you so much, Hutch. And if you are planning on going to the big game, we have some healthy tailgating snacks for you. Stay with us. Oh. <laughs>